So I'm here at the sun studio, a special sun studio of a lady who lives in Creston and her work is displayed here in this beautiful sun studio and the artist's name is Jennifer Thompson. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Jennifer Thompson, what is so special about your work? Oh, well, it's amazing that you should ask me. Um, I guess the layering quality that I do that creates more of a, a diffusion of light and depth. Diffusion of light. I can see the layering clearly in this work. So how do you bring it about with the colors? Do you start with the lighter and then go darker? Well, normally uh, I do. I start out very lightly and, and they're more like veils of color. So you, the layering is you add color over color uh, from light to dark, but you can also go from the real intensity and go back to lightness. But I, I experience that by going from lighter to darker, uh, you have these over layering of colors, and once you finish, there is this light that breathes through the work and brings the work more alive. That's my striving. Mm -hmm. I don't always succeed. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see it bears light and it has a certain playfulness. And then you kind of bring the brush strokes in different directions, it looks like, with different colors. So there is still kind of a transparency to the painting. Right? Yeah. Like if you look over at this one, this one is very much in the beginning stage. Sun. Yeah. This has a real point, playful quality, and now I'm working with um, the motif, trying to bring it uh, to birth. So the motif arises out of this color playfulness and so, this layering of color. So uh, this is very much now, you could say, um, in the beginning stages of bringing the motif to birth. So you don't have a preconceived concept of a particular image that you want to paint. You start setting up the colors kind of at random, bringing light and movement into the painting. And then once you have done enough layering, as you say... Well, the, um, the main emphasis is balance. So balance. I, I work with the color in a sense of balance and the same with form and gesture and line. And then... Um, Gradually, out of this process, something begins to emerge. The color begins to tell you, and then even the, the forms and um, various uh, colors that come together begin to speak to you. So mm -hmm. you begin this dialogue from the painting to yourself, and there's this quality that begins to speak. And if you're open enough, you begin to hear it, and your painting mm -hmm. becomes... Um, so it seems to arise from a deeper place. It's not like, oh, this looks like a flower. I'll make this a, a flower painting. It, it still can become anything, but you let the, the forms and the context and how the lines play determine kind of what the motif is. Is right. that right? Yes, yeah. that's, a, that's a good way of saying it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I like the blue painting... That looks to me like waves, like the <laughs> sea, but you might find then something totally different in this work, right? Well, the, um, the acrylic work, which is over here, I, oh. um, I am in process of working with water. Yeah. And this is um, in my response uh, to the BP oil oh, wow. um, spill. And it's um, a humble way of uh, working, but I do sincerely believe that um, working in art, working in color in this way helps heal the earth. So this is a, a little bit of an attempt of going in the direction of working with the water. And, and this is just um, the white that I've put on top and now I'm going to go back into it with more color. And I've actually got more um, thickness. I use a paste in some area to make the canvas uh, thicker and add more texture, which 
creates more of an interest, I think. Mm -hmm. So this has a little ways yet to go, but I, I'm enjoying this kind of interplay of the various yeah. tones of these colors. Because I actually came to a completion and I wasn't satisfied, so I started the process over again. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, it seems like you can spend lots of time in here. And <laughs> she's mentioned before, she works at different paintings at a time and see what is needed in the moment in terms of color and contour, shape, definition, transparency, all of these things. Yeah, this is... Um also in the beginning, and I'm using um, dry pigment with this, mm -hmm. with a glaze technique, and that also helps this, I'm working with this illumination of light. And because of the nature of the colors, it's speaking more toward plant life to me. And yeah. so once I, I have the idea that is speaking, um, and also for myself, that I begin to work with that idea. Okay. Well, I thank you so much for your yeah, time and showing thanks. me all your work. Thank that you so great. much, Jennifer thank Thompson. You, thank you. Bye. Bye.